Hey guys, welcome to Proto Coders Point. Okay, so in this video, we will create an app uh, just for demonstration of password validation. Okay, mm, so I have created one app uh, for demonstration. So now let's check out. Okay, so now in the password field, you can see that I have four criteria to be filled. So it need eight characters, a number, a uppercase, and any special symbol. Okay. Uh, so now you can see I am entering numbers. Okay. And there are seven characters now. So as I press eighth one, the criteria is completed. And I will add a just uh, uppercase and the added symbol. Now all the criteria has been finished and and the and the sign up button has been activated okay uh, so now let's go to android studio okay so i have already created a project in my android studio and and for just for time saving i have already designed the ui of the app so first of all you need first of all you need a design uh, support design material material design to be added in dependencies and then and this is the uh, ui design i have created okay so you can get this code in um, in our website protocoderspoint.com Okay, this is the article I have wrote on validation on password validation. Okay, so you can get all the instruction over here how to do it. So this is the code of XML design. So you can just copy and paste in your main activity dot XML. Okay. So let's come let's do the Java coding part. Okay. Now open main activity. and create an objects of all the text views and card views Okay, I have so now now I have uh, find the view by using card card IDs and text fields IDs. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have given IDs to each text fields, and these are the cards. Okay, these are the IDs I have used here. Okay. So next thing is you need to create an input input change method. Okay, you need to okay. So you method was uh, so in input change method we will keep track of uh, password uh, text field. Okay, so whenever the user, whenever the user enter any kind of text uh, in this text box, uh, so uh, so input input uh, change will be will get triggered. Okay, so to do that, just use uh, add text change listener. 
that will be used that by using text change what uh, text watcher okay uh, so here okay so here you need to check out okay so now we have created uh, add check change listener okay uh, so you need to so you need to call a function that is password validation password validation that will that will be called every time that will be called every time whenever any changes changes in a text field occurs okay so over here get a strings from text field to get a strings from text field strings and then string one more thing we need is text password to be fetched to be fetched from text box okay so so now our variable our string variable will keep hold of all the text from a text box okay now for validation we will check if name is empty if it is empty then we will show a error error in the text box email if it is empty then the text name dot set error in your message okay so this is a simple validation of any text field so let's work on validating uh, password text box okay to check for eight characters if password dot length is greater than or equal to eight password will be set to true and we will make a card background color colors dot parse color colors dot parse color get string from r dot R dot cover dot cover ancient okay so cover ancient is this thing okay so you need to add suppress okay else Just copy paste it. 
and make it gray okay now second thing is we need to check for number if password dot matches if password dot matches zero to nine set to true and then change card go to recent as number is set to true in card to to gray now to check for now let's check for alphabets upper case so just change in place of numbers give it a to z okay as upper case is equal to two and make the card three to ascent and card two to ascent and has upper again to false okay now the last thing we need to check is for uh, for special symbols for special symbols we will just in what matches Special symbol to true and card to false and make card to false and special symbol to true. Okay, so then we are done with this. So I will just run the app now on my emulator. It's been installed. Okay, I will keep the bus, both the first and empty and directly enter password. So password I can enter capital Q. Anything. Okay, so this password has one upper case. So this has been ticked and entered some numbers. So numbers has been ticked, minimum one numbers and there are eight maximum eight minimum eight characters and we need at the rate symbol or anything okay oh, it's okay so password has been this